Well, hello and happy day after Christmas. It is December 26th. Wow, we got here so fast. <laughs> and it is 11 o'clock in the morning. So that means that the morning sale has come. It has passed. It was a really fun sale. So thank you everyone for joining me. And um, yeah, I hope everybody had a great Christmas. Um, yeah, so if you didn't catch the vlog I put out, I decided to rearrange my living room. <laughs> it really hadn't been touched, I'm not kidding, in like six months because of the water loss, moving everything, and just trying to kind of unbury after that. Um, it took, yeah, it took six months to do. Actually, seven months, I think. Uh, but got it done, reclaimed the space, sort of. Yes, there's still boxes with inventory in my living room. Hey, the life of a reseller, you gotta have some place to put it, including the hallway. Yep. Um, but Hey, that's just how it goes. Um, trying to trying to get on board with my not New Year's resolution, but let's say 2024 goals, which is going to be the same as 2023 goals, and that is to list more. Um, not everything I have is something that sells at a live sale. And that's fine. Uh, sometimes the opportunities for picking up merchandise are just too good. And I, I need to pick it up anyway. Um, whether or not it sells at a live sale, that's okay. Um, oh, my sheet. Uh, but <clears throat> um, I need to get it sold somewhere. So sometimes I pick up things knowing that I'm probably going to be putting them on eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, whatever selling platform um, I can find out there that's uh, kind of easy for me to adapt into my time frame. So um, that's what I'm going to be working on for my 2024 goals. We'll see how that goes. Um, I have high expectations that I can get it done. I'm, I'm going for it this year. Um, all right, but let's talk about the morning sale where I brought 39 items. One of the items I pulled because I realized it was, um, it had some sequin on it and it was missing some sequin. So I pulled it. It was a piece of jewelry. It is going to be going into the crafters lot that I will eventually get put together. I'm kind of adding to it as I go through, um, some things. Um, yeah, I've got some other jewelry bits that I'm going to be looking at and seeing if it's more of the jewelry makers or if it's more crafters. I kind of make make that little bit of a distinction between the two when I'm kind of separating some things. So, um, so yeah, those will be coming in the near future. <laughs> All right, so of the 39 items I brought to the sale, 24 of them sold. So that means 15 are still available. So let's go ahead and talk about the 15 items. I am going to flip the camera around. All right, and we are going to start with this pair of earrings, silver tone with kind of um, white plastic beads. Uh, those are $1. Uh, this ring has three rows of small rhinestones. This ring is a size eight and a half, and it is $2. Uh, this lovely pair, kind of boho style earrings, those are red plastic beads. Uh, those earrings are $2. Uh, I know, then I had to look at my notes real quick here. Okay, then I have some cloisonne. Uh, these are orchids. Uh, they are a post earring. These are the only post earrings I have for cloisonne. 
They are $4. I have this pair of clip-on earrings with these beautiful white flowers. Those are $4. And then I've got this pair of clip-on cloisonnés with pink and purple flowers. Oh, I'm going to try to hold that still. There we go. Um, so those are $4. I have some uh, plushes. So this one is a Puma. Uh, he is $5. And I have some ties. So this is a Thai bird named Cuckoo, $5. A Thai bird named Stilts. He's a stork, $5. A Thai Rainbow Toucan. Uh, what was his name? Beaks. His name is Beaks, and he is $5. Uh, Dottie the Leopard, $5. And this little guy, his name is Smooches. He's supposed to have a little heart here, but he doesn't. Uh, so because of that, he's just $3 for Smooches. I've got a Squishmallow octopus. How cute is he? Oh my gosh, or she. Uh, $5 for the Squishmallow octopus. I have a mermaid who's in a little need of assistance and not just the hair. Yes, her hair does need a little bit of a combing, but down here, the lace on her fin has partially come apart. So that could either be a repair or just remove or remove and replace with another uh, piece of lace. Uh, but an aqua and purple sequin mermaid, she is $3. And then I've got uh, Thanksgiving Mickey and Minnie. So he's got a little corn. She has an apple. They are both from the Disney store. They've got their tags on from the Disney store. And they are $10 for the pair. They both have little buckles on their shoes. Um, all right, so those are the 15 items that are still available. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pan over real quick and show you the items that sold today. So we've got a little pin with angel wings, some nice uh, hook earrings, a short necklace that's gonna need an extender, uh, this beautiful black bead necklace, we got a bracelet and a couple more pairs of earrings, uh, some ties, a Squishmallow, Wizard of Oz, a canine unit. Oh, and these two, almost forgot those two. Uh, the mop doll, a couple of Raggedy Ann and Andy's. Uh, this one is Bo Peep. Uh, her name is Daisy and the Swiss Miss gal. Now she's 16 inches tall. She's a big one. Um, all right. But that is a, a wonderful, um, sale. So thank you all so much. Um, all right. I've got one more thing to show you, but I'm going to cross over to the other side of the uh, counter here. Okay. So on Christmas day, I ran a 50% off sale on um, Poshmark. Um, I'm going to start up a sale for eBay um, for the week or for part of the week anyway, uh, before we get closer to New Year's. Um, but if you didn't happen to have previously liked anything in my Poshmark closet, or maybe you're not a uh, part of Poshmark yet, um, what I will do is um, give give an open invitation here to anyone who watches the video who is interested in purchasing anything I have listed in my Poshmark closet. 
Um, if you are part of Poshmark, go ahead and click the like button. Um, and then let me know, send me an email or, or something. Um, and let me, email's probably best. <laughs> and let me know, um, if you saw something you'd like, um, and you went ahead and checked the box. Um, if, if it's not easy for me to figure out, let me know what it is. Cause then I can go in and find it. Um, I will send you a 50% off, 50% off offer. That's a hard one to say. Um, and you will get um, discounted shipping on that also. Um, the nice thing with Poshmark, if you don't use Poshmark, is their shipping, anything that weighs five pounds or less is only $8 to ship. And so when I put in a discounted shipping, that makes your shipping really cheap. So if you find one thing, let me know. If you find multiple things, I can bundle them all together and, um, and send you an offer on that also. So uh, just let me know. The link to my Poshmark closet is um, in the description below. But I think if you just search for Sandy and Otto, I think I should come up um, so you'll be able to find me that way. Uh, but I did have five sales um, yesterday. So I'm around and I'll show you. So this is a vintage uh, men's tie. It is a, uh, what is it, Robert? Oh, no, I can't remember. Robert something from Nordstrom. So that cool tie. Uh, stoneware double crock, um, like a jam jar. Uh, these G unit, um, junior size jeans. Uh, I'm going to skip that. I'll come back to that for a sec. Um, these Clark's, uh, sandals. And then this, I did, um, have a lot more pieces than I have now. Uh, currently I have two more of these teacups and some bowls, which you'll be able to find. Um, this is Jeanette glass. It is the aquamarine swirl petal pattern. It was only produced in 1939, 1938 to 1939. And I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to try. Um, it doesn't have like a flashy uranium glow, but several pieces do have a little bit of a glow to them. This one is just not going to cooperate at all. Um, but, but occasionally on the pieces, you can get the light just right because it's from the thirties and it is a green glass. Yeah, it does have a little bit of a glowy to it. Again, not a huge um, uranium glow, but just because of the chemicals they use to create the aquamarine, there is a little bit of a glow. So again, I have two teacups and about seven bowls left of um, this really awesome set. So um, yeah, if you're interested in this pattern at all, it is a really fun pattern to get involved with. Um, all right. So I, oops, hang on one second. Let me. Okay. So I have a bunch of postage that came in. I'm going to get those packages ready to go to the post office. My mail carrier is still on vacation today. So I am going to be running to the post office. I'm going to get the table, um, all cleared off, organized the solds upstairs, um, and the unsold will be down here somewhere around the Harry Potter closet. And, um, yeah, and then I'm going to get postage and I'm going to run to the post office, but I will show you all the packages that are heading out the door today. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, most of my day is going to be spent, um, packing and invoicing. So I'm going to get on that, um, soon. And uh, yeah, so I will see you again as soon as I get the postage done. 
All right, well, it is 1.15, and I have all the packages down here that are going to the post office today. Yes, I am taking them. Um, mail carrier is still on vacation. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, so yay. Uh, so let's take a look at, oops, let's take a look at the stack. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yep. 11 packages are going out. I'm going to uh, put those in bags. It's a lot easier for me to carry all these multiples into the post office if I put them into uh, bags and carry them in. So that is what I am going to do. When I get back, pretty much going to be just doing, um, well, setting up for tomorrow's sale. I got to set that up. Uh, 10 items to sell with Jen and Gina. And then I'm just packing and invoicing today. So that is that is uh, pretty much it. So I, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog. And thank you so much for watching. Um, you'll notice down at the bottom, if there's still stuff going in the ticker, that I came back on <laughs> to tell you something else. But otherwise, no, I think that's going to wrap it up. So appreciate everybody watching and I will see you, well, tomorrow, today. <laughs>